Hello, good evening. Hello there, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Christina. How's it going? How are you? How are you, Christina? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carla Maria. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's it going, Carlos? Um, How are you? Sorry? I'm fine. Oh, nice. Very good. Hello, Santos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? I'm good. Nice. And you? And you? I'm very well. Thank you. Okay. Happy to be here Happy again. Be here. Yes, I relax in my home. Oh, nice. Very good. Yes. Okay. I'm looking no, for no it. work today. Sorry? No work today. I'm going <laughs> oh, to work nice. tomorrow. Did you have a day off? I'm going, I'm going to work tomorrow. Oh, you didn't work today? Yes. Uh, day off and, today. Dia libre, day on, off. On Mother Day, I work. Oh, oh yeah, it's true. Oh, but tomorrow you yes. are working. Yes. Oh, my goodness, on Mother's Day. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry for you. OK. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for the attendance. I don't, I don't find it. I, I think it's here, somewhere over the rainbow. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. I just found it. Yeah. I have it here. <laughs> so how was your day? How was your start of the week? How was your start of the week? How was your start of the week? Good, really good, bad. How was it? How was it? How was it? Very hard. Very hard. It's Monday, right? So Monday is one of the hardest days of the week. Yeah. It's, it's difficult to start the week, right? <laughs> All right. All right. We had a missing activity from the last week, right? Dejamos una actividad pendiente de la semana anterior, ¿verdad? Me equivoco. Am I mistaken? All right. No? Oh, sí, quedó algo pendiente. Is there anything missing? Some questions with can and could, I think. Algunas preguntas con can and could, I guess. No. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. We, we yeah. should, should finish, but you were practicing. Okay, you were practicing, but you didn't finish, I think. Estaban practicando, pero creo que no terminaron. Yes? Yes, right. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's start. Let me pass the attendance quickly. Uh, let's see, Carlos. Let's Claudia. All right. Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. Doris. <clears throat> Present teacher. All right, Ellen Nielsen. Kelsey? Present teacher. All right, Hector? Hazel? Irma? Present teacher. Okay, Javier? Johnny? Jose Mauricio? Lucy? <clears throat> Present. Maho? Present. Rafa? Santos? Present teacher. Lises? Present teacher. Wendy? 
Jessica. Carla María. Present. Y Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's start then uh, with uh, today's class. And well, I remember uh, that the last, the, the last week on Friday, by the way, we had many problems, right? Okay. Eh, tuvimos muchos problemas el día, el día viernes. Okay. I hope it doesn't happen again. Espero que no suceda nuevamente. I hope it doesn't happen again. And well, uh, I remember that on Friday we studied the use of can and the use of could, right? Yes, you remember that? For example, uh, to, to make a polite request, okay, para hacer una solicitud eh, de forma educada, to make a polite request. For example, uh, when I tell a coworker, can you open the door? I say, can you open the door, right? So it's polite. Es una forma cortés, okay, de cortesía, de pedir un favor. O hacer una solicitud, perdón. Or when I tell you, um, can you visit the clients today? Or when I tell you, could you clean the, the office? Could you clean the office? Or could you uh, check email? Could you write the reports? All right. Usando can you and could you, estoy usando una forma educada de pedir un, de hacer una solicitud to make a request, okay? So I say, can you or could you, all right? So what I was telling you, lo que les decía la vez pasada, es que can you, could you, sorry, era se siente un poquito más formal que can you. Pero igual los dos se usan casi lo mismo. I have seen them in the same, um, in the same context, all right? Los he visto en el mismo contexto y con el mismo propósito. Can you or could you, all right? So both of them are polite or formal, okay? So let's see, Let, let's see. Um, to make a request, I say, can you or could you, all right? Y luego uso un verbo. For example, can you open the door? Could you uh, clean the office? Uh, can you check email? Could you write the reports? Could you visit clients, all right? So take a moment, okay? Take a moment and think about one request that you use in your workplace, all right? Piensen en una solicitud que ustedes normalmente hacen en su lugar de trabajo a otra persona. Using can you or could you, all right? Can you? For example, can you pass me um, what? Can you pass me the boxes? For example, right? I don't know your context, your work context, no sé el contexto de su trabajo. So think about one request. Piensen en una solicitud que hacen. Think about one request you use in your workplace. In my case, I, I can say, can you erase the board? Puede borrar la pizarra? Can you erase the board? That's very common in my workplace, okay? Ese es muy común en mi lugar de trabajo. That's very common in my workplace. Think about one. Piensen en una solamente. Think about one only. And can you attend this meeting? Excellent. Can you attend this meeting? For me, you can say, all right. Yeah, it's perfect. It's very good. Another one? Otra? Any other one? You can say, can you or could you, right? Can you or could you? Could you do me a favor? Exactly, that's very common. Could you do me a favor? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Lucy. That's very good. Do we have more? Tenemos más? Do we have more? Carlos? Can you pass me the tool? Excellent. Can you pass me the tools? It's cool. It's excellent. Anybody else? Alguien más? Uh, Irma? And then Hector. Yes. yes. Uh, can you display this blender, please? Excellent. That's very good. Uh, Hector? We can hear you, Hector. No se le escucha. We can hear you. I don't know why. No le escuchamos. No sé si es que no le funcionan los audífonos. I don't know. Maybe your, your headphones don't work. No le escuchamos, Hector. Test your audio, please. Revise el audio. Test your audio. Okay, in the meantime, mientras tanto, do we have more uh, participations? Majo? Majo? Um, could you give me a marker? Excellent. Could you um, give me a marker? Could you, yes. could you add use a machine? Yeah, that's excellent. Um, well, you could request. Sorry, can you, can you repeat, please? Could you could 
this request. What do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you mean? Requisición. Ajá. Hay una palabra técnica que uso en mi trabajo. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pero tell me the whole question. La, toda la pregunta en español. Quiero escuchar. I want to listen to it. ¿Podría cortarme esta requisición? ¿Podría? Cortar. Ok, could you cut the request? Cut. Maybe? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. entonces sí. Lo único que mm -hmm. no se la pronuncie bien. Yeah, yeah, you say cut. All right. Thank you, Majo. Uh, do we have more? Do we have more participations with can you and could you? Santos? Santos. Will you call me tomorrow? Excellent. Could you call me tomorrow? That's perfect. And uh, can you go to gas station with my car? Yeah. Because I need few gas. Excellent. A little. A little <laughs> gas. All right. Very good. That's excellent. Uh, very good. So basically, this is what we studied on Friday, right? Es lo que estudiamos el viernes, lo más, the most important, I think. All right. Good. And I remember uh, at the end of the class, you were completing these questions, right? You wrote questions for this. Complementaron estas preguntas. Y estaban practicando en equipo cuando lo saqué. And the idea was to write the answers, okay? La idea era que practicaran con alguien y que escribieran respuestas de su compañero, okay? Yeah, that was the idea. No sé si completaron alguna. Did you complete any or you didn't complete any question? Any answer, sorry. Yes. Yes. How many did you complete, Carlos? How many uh, answers? Four. Four answers. All right. So uh, example, I will give you. Sorry? Number one, for example. Okay, very good. So, so you, you only need to write yes, I can or no, I can't, right? Talking about the other person, okay? Imagine you ask that person, imagínense que le preguntaron, um, can you clean the office? Yes, I can or no, I can't. Or I was saying, incluso le estaba dando algunas respuestas diferentes, right? Like immediately, uh, sure, no problem. Recuerdan que le di algunas opciones? I gave you some options, right? Uh, for example, can you clean the windows? Sure. Can you clean the windows? No problem. Can you clean the windows immediately? Can you clean the window, the windows right away? Le daba algunas opciones para contestar, right? Immediately, right away, sure, no problem, okay? So I gave you four options, okay? Yeah, good. Um, I don't know if you wanna do it again. No sé si lo quieren hacer nuevamente porque yo sé que quedaron cortados en esa actividad. I know you, you didn't finish this activity, okay? Yeah. Okay, so please, let's go in pairs. Ask the questions and take notes about the answers, okay? Vamos a ir en parejas, hagan las preguntas y toman nota de las respuestas. Take notes about the answers, okay? Yeah. Does everybody have the questions? Does everybody have the questions? Todos tienen las preguntas? Does everybody have the questions? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's work in pairs then. Take notes about the answers, okay? Toman notas de las respuestas. Take notes about the answers, please. All right, let me say I have 10, 12. Uh, I have 16 people connected. So that means we need eight groups. All right, let's go. <clears throat> I will give you around five or seven minutes, all right? Five or seven minutes for this. Let's go and practice. Sí, lo tengo. Es la página 14. 
perdón, la 14. 14, sí. Ok. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es... Um, Solo quiero... Pero la, la 14 ya hace rato que la pasamos. Ya está, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene razón. Eh, si no me equivoco, es la 22. 22. Yo me equivoqué. 22. Ok. Ya es 22. Teacher, eh, yo le comentaba a la compañera de que yo el, el viernes me desconecté las, un poquito antes de las 9 porque estaba trabajando. No terminé la... O sea, no estuve al final de la clase. Eh, entonces ella me está explicando lo que se hizo. Lo que se hizo. Básicamente tenían que completar la, las preguntas con cualquier eh, ¿qué? Cualquier verbo. Could you clean the office? Uh, can okay. you open the windows? Can you open the door? Can you move these boxes? Ya. Yeah. Podían completarlo okay. con lo que ustedes quisieran. Uh -huh. Y luego la idea es hacerle la pregunta a la compañera para que ella le dé la respuesta y usted toma nota de la respuesta. Can you take notes okay. about the answers, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Eh, pero si es la 22, ¿verdad? Página 22. It's correct. 22 en los... It's sí. correct. Sí, correct. Eh, vaya, Santos, fíjese que, eh, por ejemplo, tengo unas preguntas y si quiere las, las usamos y vamos como dándole forma para darle una respuesta también. Ok. Vale, la primera es can you. Y era como, can you sleep right now? Ok. Pues, puedes dormir ahora mismo. Ah, ok, sleep. Uh -huh. Entonces la respuesta eh, es, sería yes, yes I can. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> But, ok. Y en, en Call You, por ejemplo, tenía Call You Read the Book for Me. Yes, yes I can. Ah, no, sorry. Yes, I could. Cool. Ok. Y ahora una con can you. Uh, por ejemplo, can you go at the office right now? ¿Podrías ir a la oficina ahora mismo? Uh -huh. Ok. <laughs> yes, no, yes, I can. <laughs> Quiere ir a trabajar. <laughs> yes, por mí no hay problema. <laughs> Ok. ¿Te gusta eh, usted haga una con call? Call, ok. ¿Qué call sería you... la número 4? Ajá, ok. Uh, call you a ten a miri uh, next, next um, Saturday, Saturday. Yes, con ahí. Bueno, se aceptó eh, yo tenía... el viernes, me salí antes de la clase porque si la verdad ya no aguantaba el cansancio en el sueño. Me salí como 10 minutos antes de la clase, entonces este ejercicio no, no sabía que lo había dejado. Pero como es que el que vamos a hacer ahorita, uh -huh. le voy a hacer entonces dos preguntas con el Ken y dos preguntas con el Cole. Ok. Y usted me da la respuesta. De acuerdo. Eh, lo vamos a hacer como algo de la casa porque no sé su oficio y obviamente usted no sabe el mío entonces le voy a preguntar cosas regularmente que se hacen afuera o que se hacen afuera de 